these battles are getting weirder and weirder, but I'm just gonna look for one final battle. And, uh, hopefully it's a good one. This team looks really familiar. It looks extremely familiar. I'm just gonna lead off with huge rockets. It's the fastest thing I have. I'll, I believe I yeah I'll speed everything. So the scarf or not. So I'm gonna lead off with that and you turn out. Hopefully get the, some initiative right off the bat. Unless he leads off with this side drag on it turns out slower than me and then I would just completely ruin my plan. But uh, I guess we'll see. It's, this is gonna be looking like a good battle. <clears throat> Comes the Jolteon. You know, I never confirmed this thing got Dazzling Gleam or not. I don't think so. so I'm gonna stay in and U turn because I know I can take a. Uh... Well, I'll be faster in a minute, so I don't have to worry about taking anything. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm gonna go on to Meep. I really wish you got Lightning Rod. That would have been really badass. <laughs> That would have been really badass. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Looking back, I should have seen that coming and gone straight for the Draco Meteor, but of course, you have to floor just. Uh, yeah, I guess the, the the prediction play, you know, paid off for him. That I was gonna Draco first turn. <coughs> but, uh, I'll just see what he goes down into. He can go into his height. Haxorus, it can go into this Hydreigon, both of those which would force me not to Mega Evolve because so I don't want to take a super effective Draco, uh, Dragon move. Uh, either way, they're going to force me out, especially Haxorus, I don't want to take an Earthquake and that thing. Uh, it can go into this Crocodile, it can go into this Darmanitan and continue on with the Bolt Turn shenanigans. But no, he just has to go into this Crocodile and it's Intimidate, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Could he be running kind of a defensive set? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know, I'll be. I have seen one defensive Kruger dial in my life and she did pretty well. He's gonna go for knockoff, so I'm guessing he is defensive. Knocked off my uh, choice band, that sucks. And he scarfed, so. Okay, so he wasn't defensive, he was scarfed. He's gonna run through his Jolteon. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna go out into my Hydreigon. <laughs> Let's go Thunderbolt. <coughs> Alright, now nah, here I'm just gonna do turn again. Pick up the Florges. I can do that and go out into this thing and Poison Jab, but I'm not feeling confident that I'll be able to take it out. So I could just go out into this thing and uh, set up my rocks. I'm gonna apply the pressure on him because he doesn't have rock in this thing. That Kruger Dial set was bizarre. Scarf knockoff. And I feel he was running knockoff just for the hell of it. Because you don't run it on a Scarf Pokemon. That's just stupid. <laughs> Taking on this Darmanitan. Uh, don't have anything that can really, you know, really wants to appreciate, you know, take a uh, freaking. Fucking. Flare Blitz from this thing. Except Rock Wolfina, but I'm not defensive, so it might hurt. Oh wow, that did it. I'm just gonna go for Waterfall here. And uh, he is not choice. Good to know, because now that is one dead ass Dermanitan. <laughs> I can go out into this Jolteon and freaking Voltwitch again and proceed with the shenanigans. Uh, this time I'm gonna go into, into Rachi. In case he decides to go for signal beam if he's running it. Or HP ice even. Uh, I would want my the damage on Hydreon to rack up. <coughs> it's my scarf after all. I'm gonna U turn. <clears throat> I 
And my opponent is really taking a sweet time. Really taking a sweet time. It's gonna go into this Haxorus. Well, alrighty then. Now I can go into this thing and uh, hopefully burn it if he doesn't have. Oh, he has the, the Lumberry. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna get the Glee Seed off first. It goes for the Outrage. Uh, that was kind of a bad play, sir. It kind of was. Okay, go on to this thing. And start wailing away with an item with the... Ooh, why does that do so much damage? That's a two-hit KO. Damn it. Alright, I'll live. Good. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? I wonder. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Good lord. But now I'm stuck in a really awkward situation. Unless Jurassic can take a blast. Should be a I can get the wish off. I have to at this point. It's gonna iron it. See who stays in. Hope he does. <laughs> Ooh. I think I, I let my Pokemon take way too much damage. And I was not expecting that outrage to do that much fucking damage to Jirachi. God damn, Haxorus. Haxorus is too fucking powerful. And he does stay in. And I do get the flinch. So that is that's gorgeous. I really wanted to wish, and I'm guessing he wanted to as well. Time to his Haxorus. Uh, he's not gonna set up. Just in, ca just in case he does. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. I, I can go out to uh, Star Gen Chatter Snake. Yes! <laughs> yes! It worked out in the, in the end! Sarge gets a kill! Yes! That's exciting. <laughs> that is freaking exciting. <clears throat> Ugh. I mean, not, not bad for a last battle, I guess. And now I can just let Sarge die. That sounds really bad, but uh, it, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. It's not. I don't know why this man's thinking so hard. He has gone to Hydreigon to take me out, because I'm not going to switch anything to it. Hydreigon. Then he's going to go to the Jolteon. Probably go for the. for the freaking uh, Shadow Ball. But I'm going to go for the Shadow Snake. Hopefully, it does enough to the point where Bandit uh, Extreme Speed can take out Jolteon. Because I don't think he'll ever see it coming. <laughs> I don't think I've shown him uh, extreme speed yet, so he shouldn't see it coming. Yep, I did a pretty decent amount, and uh, he goes for Thunderbolt. Huh. Now I can go into Aquafina and just take him out with extreme speed. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, now the last thing he has is Hydreigon. I'm gonna lead Aquafina here to die. He did some work. Aquafina put in work this session. 31%, that's not too shabby. Because with Dark Pulse, and uh, he turns out to be Life Orb, so that is great. I can go into Huge Draw now, and uh, take him out of Draco Meteor. And if I miss and end up dying, I knew it was gonna happen. I still have Halucha with the freaking 
Ah, uh, play a uh, freaking flying press though. Not to worry. I, I have a backup plan. Unless I miss the flying press as well. Then I will rage uncontrollably. Alright, good. So at least Alucha got the last end game end <laughs> game ending kill, so it's not the best. Uh GG. That was definitely an interesting battle. Are you gonna see GG back? Yes? No? Maybe? No? I guess not, so whatever, that will be the end of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you want to, feel free to use Chose Bandit Suiku. It catches a lot of people off guard, as you saw in this session. It actually managed to get a couple of kills. That's, that was actually really impressive. But anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys on some other showdown shenanigans. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Bye.